Hello and welcome to Caveo Bite Size Learning. This video is part of a five-part series about sending custom analytics events and dimensions from the UI and then capturing and reporting on that information in Caveo's analytics dashboard. Uh, this is part one, an introduction. Caveo Bite Size Learnings are as short as they are sweet, so let's get started. Before you get started with these topics, it's a good idea to get familiar with the basics of what is supported in Caveo's out-of-the-box analytics configurations. The built-in events and dimensions and default reports are information rich and it's worthwhile to get to know what's there before potentially reinventing the wheel. We have two classes on the topic already available, both as live virtual classroom trainings and pre-recorded self-paced modules. To sign up for these courses, go to coveo.com training. It'll be well worth your while. Additionally, if you haven't yet done so, you will want to engage your customer success manager. All paying customers have some level of access to a CSM. This team is incredibly well versed in analytics and will be happy to work with you to ensure that you're making the right customizations to help you achieve your goals. So assuming you've done all that and you're ready to get started with customizing your analytics, let's dive in. The first thing to remember is that all of the data in question is coming directly into our analytics engine from the browser of the user who is navigating through the Coveo enabled areas of your site. This event data is sent in parallel to the actual link clicks, search queries, and page views which are being executed by the user and which this event data describes in abstract. What this means is that you have a great deal of control when it comes to customizing how you capture the interactions with your search enabled pages and that doing these modifications are effectively independent of any customizations you do in the areas of your Caveo implementation which affect or interact with the index directly. Also, please note that I'm focusing on search-enabled web pages here. It's possible to integrate Coveo into other environments such as mobile and desktop applications, and if you're doing so, integrating analytics is an important step. In order to do this, your code would have to interact with our REST APIs directly, and information about doing that, among other topics, is available in our Coveo Developers Essentials class, which, like our analytics courses, is available in virtual online classes or self-paced e-learning. There are four types of events, which the JavaScript Search UI framework, henceforth I'll call it the JSUI, can send to the backend analytics engine, search events, click events, custom events, and page view events. Only the first three, search, click, and custom, are available for reports. The first two, search and click, are also used to build our relevance tuning and query suggestion machine learning models. Our page view events, which are not available for reporting, are used only to drive our page recommendations machine learning model. Each event is sent as a data packet, including which type it is, search, click, custom, or page view, along with an event cause object, which allows you to identify different categories of each of those types of events. For example, a click on a result link might show up as a different category than a quick view links click. Additionally, each event is sent out of the JSUI, including a bundle of metadata referred to in the analytics world as dimensions. Some of those dimensions are tracked and reported on by default in the reporting dashboard, but some are not. So even though those latter items, such as information about faceting on a query, are standard from the JSUI standpoint, from a reporting standpoint, they are custom and have to be configured as such. Beyond the standard dimensions and standard custom dimensions, you can also add in your own dimensions metadata if you see fit. If you build and send those data structures in your UI code, then just as with the standard custom dimensions, if you configure them properly on the back end, you'll be able to report on them in the Coveo Cloud V2 console. So that's an overview of how Coveo Cloud Usage Analytics can be customized. We'll get into some of the details of how this is actually implemented in part two, where we'll show how to create and send custom events with custom dimensions. In part three, we'll look at augmenting out-of-the-box events with custom dimension metadata. And in part four, we'll show how to configure your custom dimensions on the analytics dashboard. Finally, in part five, we'll build a series of reports based on the information we're collecting. Thank you for watching this edition of Coveo Bite Size Learning. Please share this video with your team and subscribe to the Coveo Insights YouTube channel and our e-learning playlist in order to learn more about using the Coveo suite of relevance tools to make your business personal. For more in-depth training courses, including more on analytics, please visit www.coveo.com training.